Okay, and we are back with episode two of this probably ill-fated Project Zomboid Let's Play in which Verso attempts to balance the needs of making an entertaining show of some sort <laughs> versus uh, not getting munched on by zombies. It's more difficult than you would think, at least for me, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. I need to get out of here. I need to check my map again because this house is, is spent. We've done everything that we can here. And... Uh, I know I need like a can opener to open up these cans of food that I have in my inventory. And what else do I need? You know, I'm going to close that door just in case, just in case I need to come back here. Anyway, I know I need a few things like a writing implement, can opener, a uh, better weapon, probably maybe some better clothes. I, oh, and we got zombies. We got zombies already. I'm honestly kind of annoyed by the number of zombies. I know it's the apocalypse, but it's like, it's kind of like too much, too many zombies. I think unless you specifically do like a sandbox scenario, I think they just keep respawning. I think you you never see the end of the zombies. But as you know, I do hate them. And uh, zombies that venture out on their own are definitely zombies that I'm gonna I'm gonna slaughter if I see them. I don't like having to deal with two at once. This is I feel like this is always a risk, especially with me being sort of bad at the game. This guy's trying to bite my feet. I don't like that. I'm not sure if they can bite your feet or not. What, what am I wearing on my feet? That's a, that would be a good question. I should know that. I should probably check that out. What, what do I have on my feet? I got sneakers. Some combat boots would be better. I wonder if anybody has combat boots. They're these guys. Nope. But that is actually something that's important. That's going to be on my list of things to do, so I need to take care of that. So this house looks pretty good, actually. I mean, somebody boarded this up, so... Whoever lived here was probably like a better... Better disaster planner than I was. My house was trash. Actually, I'm not sure that was even my house because there was blood in there when I started. Which makes me think that I either murdered the person who lived in that house <laughs> or uh, being optimistic about it, maybe Cyrus was just up to some zombie killing before the game started. Eliminate this guy because I do not want this person following me in to this house. By the way, targeted ground attack is something that you can do with the alt key, holding down the left alt key. And that's useful. Sometimes you don't want to mess around with like stomping on a zombie's head. Okay, now look at this. Okay, these guys are gonna make my life difficult. I do want to get into this. Oh crap. Okay, that's. Well, you kind of ruined it for me because we had a nice like boarded up house here, but I don't know why they were inside. Let's try the door. Like, how did they get in there? Like, why did the person board up every window except for this window? These were probably the people who lived there. So I guess they actually were not good apocalypse survivors because they managed to get themselves killed somehow. I'm collecting this broken glass with bare hands. That probably wasn't smart. I'm not sure what you do with empty notebooks. I'm not sure how you would use those. Things to find out. I should do some research. I actually have been avoiding playing this game. As much as I've been enjoying it, I've been avoiding playing it outside of this Let's Play series because I sort of want to discover things as I go. And, uh... I think it's, it makes it a little more interesting. <laughs> At least for a Let's Play series. If I were trying to do a, a tutorial about this, then I would try to understand what the heck I'm doing. Garden fork. Limited impact when used one-handed. So this is like a two-handed weapon? Let me see this thing. Oh, that is friggin' dope. Yes, give me that. This is even better than the rolling pin, and I thought I would never say that. Crowbar would be also good to have. Okay, this house has the goods. Oh, wow. Oh. And there are weapons here as well. Okay, that is hitting the jackpot. I said I was going to make these episodes about five minutes each. And I'm just taking all this stuff. I think this was a huge win. I found the Doomsday Prepper. Or this, the Doomsday Prepper's house, I guess. And that person has died now. And oh, and nothing with the can. Okay, this was the place to be. You know what? I cannot do better than this. <laughs> this is where the episode ends. And... Next time, I look forward to going out with this garden fork and uh, just pronging some zombies. This house is kind of trashy, and I'm not really loving the idea of living here. There's no bed even, so there's no place to sleep. It's maybe not the greatest place to, to hunker down, but but it's good for now. I'm just going to sit here, crouch behind this, uh, this counter for a little while. I'm noticing that my heart thing is shaking over here, which means I have very minor damage. I'm not sure what that's about. I can't, uh, I can't treat it. Minor nicks and bruises, I don't know. I'm gonna work on figuring out what the heck is going on there. 
Next time, I gotta figure out a better place to, to live, place to sleep probably, some place where I can maybe start working on building up my skills a little bit, like reading some skill books and that sort of thing. If you have any suggestions for what I should be doing in this game, because honestly, I don't really know, <laughs> please let me know and uh, I'll try to get to them in the next episode. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Project Zomboid Let's Play. Five minutes to live, I guess. Is that what we're calling the series? I'm not sure. Maybe that's what we'll call it. This has been Verso, and I appreciate you coming out to the Edge of Casual with me. Until next time, everybody, have a great day.